What's going on? You're in the Beat Sessions. I am your host, Mitchell Weary. Let's talk about the Lumineers and their new record, Brightside. That was released on January 14th. This is the fourth studio album for Wesley Schultz and Jeremiah Freights and follows their 2019 effort three. And I gotta admit, when I first saw the track listing for this thing, I was a little disappointed. Nine songs, it's coming in at 30 minutes. I just love this band and was feeling kind of greedy, wanted more material. But I will say that upon listening to this record, this is about as complete of an effort as you can get in 30 minutes. Really impressed with the way that these nine songs come together. Very nice, cohesive effort from these guys. And individually, just so much character in all of these songs. Nice, rich textures and layers. I love that their style, very much grounded in indie and folk rock, still lends itself well to you know lots of alternative. There's lots of great guitars on this record, some, some heavier sounding songs, but also some lighter fare as well. Really liking some of the piano melodies on this record in contrast to some of that heavier, kind of more energetic stuff. And lyrically, I'm, I'm loving this record. I'm loving the message of positivity on Bright Side, as the title would suggest. And I'll argue that, you know, the last two years, they've been difficult for all of us. And I know a lot of people that are maybe just kind of bored and beat to death with this banal nature of always look on the bright side. But I will say that Wesley and Jeremiah handling this content in a way that it makes it refreshing. It makes it resonate with the listener in a way that... You know, like I certainly found myself feeling much more upbeat after listening to this record. Not to say that I feel like I've solved all of the problems that have affected us in the last two years, but I think this record lends itself well to identifying that, you know, it's all about mindset and it's all about the way you choose to approach life. And you can do that in a negative way or you can take on the bright side of things. And while dealing with all of this negative stuff, Till, you know, still choose to see that you know, life is full of great, positive things, and there's a lot that we still have to be happy about. So I like the way that they take that on in this record. This thing kicks off with Bright Side. You get these stomping drums and this light, airy riff that brings in the song. I really like the way it builds, and again, I like the sense of optimism that just leads right off the bat. You know what you're going to get for the next 30 minutes on this record with this opening track. It leads into AM radio. I like this thing, the way it starts off kind of like a delicate acoustic ballad. There's some soft percussion. Uh, and a great intermittent piano that creeps into the song. But this song definitely, it builds in a great way and it changes pace and I'm really liking this track as well. Where We Are is your third song. Piano dominates on this thing, really liking the melody. And the message, again, very comforting without being banal. It's where, <laughs> where we are, I don't know where we are, but it'll all be okay. And I just, I, I love that. I love the, the music that, that carries with the hook on this thing. It's just a very nicely done song. Leads into your fourth song, Birthday. This song, oddly enough, uh, given that there is a track entitled Birthday on the White Album, this song really reminds me of what the Beatles were doing on the White Album. I love this track as well. Um, all of these songs, all nine of these songs, like I said, are just are, are very nicely done. Your fourth track, Birthday, leads into your fifth song, Big Shot. Love the piano melody on this record. Great coda as well. And I'll say that the, the coda effect on this record, there's a lot of these songs that... As they, as they end and as you get this outro, lots of nice stuff working in the codas. Your sixth song, Never Really Mine. The, the opening lyric on this track, this is one of my favorites, if not my favorite on the record. Love was not designed for time. And this is the type of thoughtful reflection that you get from these guys that I think separates them from so many other bands. Just lyrically, they're able to delve into this territory and approach things you know, philosophically almost. It, it just... I love that line and I love this song and it's definitely my favorite track on this record uh, pretty much for that opening line but the music is great as well. Your seventh song Roller Coaster is kind of an emotional roller coaster. You get this great beautiful piano track. It's haunting in a way. Uh, really just uh, a, a nice way to, to get into the coda. Remington. This song is a minute and 52 seconds and like the record I, it's such a powerful punch. You get about as much as you can possibly fit in under two minutes in a song. Really impressed with the way that that track leads into your final track, Reprise, which uh, has got these stomping drums, this churning piano. It really kind of winds this thing down the way that it opens up with Brightside. And I got to say that this is a very fine record. I really enjoyed listening to this. And uh, seeing as how it's only nine songs and about as complete of an effort as it can be, we're just going to have to wait for the next album from the Lumineers. But in the meantime, let's vinyl please this thing. Go pick this up at your local record store. Hope you find this review helpful. Please like this video and share it. Subscribe to the channel. Do all the things to help me blow this project up in 2022. And stay tuned throughout the week for more album reviews. We will see you next time on The Beat Sessions.